Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a flip through of The Fragile World by Kirby Rosanz, which is an absolutely beautiful book. Mm. You've probably seen flip throughs before, but I'm going to go ahead and do that too. The cute little turtle. <laughs> okay, so every animal in this book is going to be an endangered animal. The book is absolutely gorgeous and I love all the pictures in here, but it's also kind of sad in that frame. It is written uh, um, and edited, edited by that person, but it also sends a little bit of money to the Wildlife Foundation when you purchase the book. You're going to discover the world the fragile world and the coloring adventure step into my high definition super detailed world where you will discover some of the most endangered and valuable animals of their natural habitats that are in here and as the pages are just absolutely gorgeous you've probably seen some colorings of these already that in the back of the book it tells you um, each page here has got a tiny tiny little number <laughs> okay you can barely see it so it's not going to disturb your picture at all but it will tell you in the back of the book what the animal's name is where they're located and a paragraph of information on the animal itself which is gorgeous pictures so if you don't know what the animal is because it's not in your neck of the woods <laughs> Like most of these are not going to be in my neck of the woods. <coughs> but you get the um, explanation in the back of the book, which is always wonderful in case you have to or would like to look them up in further detail. These guys might be in my neck of the woods. <laughs> this bee is really pretty. Sorry, I'm kind of flipping a little fast. I should slow down. I'm looking at the pictures too. <laughs> I mean, like he's a gorgeous bird, but I wouldn't know what he is. And he lives someplace in the mountain area. So I would have to look him up. He's on page, that's 25. So you'd go to the back of the book. They're all listed. And 25 is a Philippine eagles, which are critically endangered. And then it gives you the information here about the bird itself. So if I wanted to look up Philippine eagles, then I would know what to color them like, which is always a great access to when you're doing your pictures. If you want them to look a little, <coughs> and I say a little on purpose, uh, realistic. No matter how, oh gosh, okay. These are little black-footed uh, ferrets. <laughs> I think these guys might be my first page. They are adorable. <laughs> okay, um, you know, we got pandas. They're eating their bamboo. The hippo, oh, he's adorable too. And we have a little bat over here. Chowing down on some type of berries. Oh, I've seen somebody coloring this one. It's gorgeous. Beautiful birds. The elephant. It's got the building up here, a little staircase coming down, and then the foliage coming down his snout. Always makes you sad. <laughs> I have to break the spine of the book here. You get to see the center. It's not easy to do sometimes. And then we have some little owls over here. This book is stitched down the center, by the way. That one looks really cool. It's a double plate page spread. He 
and little kitty and the rhino that's a little jaguar up there <laughs> okay some pretty f they look like parrots what page are we on here 47 Thick-billed parrots. They live in Mexico, northern Mexico. Pretty. Then we have the turtle that's on the front cover. This is a whale, I believe. Is there a page here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> These are cute. <laughs> Cabalda bears. More whales. That'd be a pretty picture all finished. Another kitty. A panda. Red panda. be a pretty picture too. I'm sorry, they're all going to be pretty when they're done. <laughs> Belugas. No idea. I'd have to look them up. We have some beetles here, it looks like. Otter. Wild dogs. Ooh, are you into lizards? <laughs> Just saw a picture done on this one. It turned out gorgeous. I was looking on Instagram the other day. These are cute too. My daughter knows what all these animals are. I didn't look in the back of the book. Narwhals. <laughs> More birds and some eel type fish. Oops. There we go. These guys are interesting. I wanted to look them up. 83. Dolphins. Hector dolphins. I live in the shallow coastal waters of New Zealand. North Island. They are the smallest and rarest marine dolphins in the world. I think this will be a nice book to get a little bit of an education on. These guys are cute too, and I think they're Tasmanian devils. And some pretty birds. They got pretty big teeth here. <laughs> Penguins. And then, like I said, you get every animal in the book here. So it gives you, here's my little black-footed ferret. North America, their diet consists mainly of prairie dogs, many colonies which were eliminated towards the end of the 1900s because of their burrowing activity and damaging fields. As a result, almost the entire population of the black-footed ferret was wiped out. Since then, a vast effort has been made in a breeding program to increase their numbers. There are an estimated 300 of the little black-footed ferrets living in the world right now. Like I said, this is education is going to be sad. So I like these critters, and I like to see them about, and I need to save them. And there are the rest of the books that uh, Kirby does. So that's the end of the book. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed beautiful book. Even the cover. 
I mean, you can see the shine there. This is kind of like a raised um, from the back of the book, kind of embossed is what I'm going to call it because that's what I believe when I do a card and everything, you em use an embossing powder and it raises it up and it's really smooth like that. So is the back of the book though. <laughs> you see the tiger there. So that's a little different from his other books, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'll show you the size if I can get over here of his old book or a last book he did. How's that? So if you have World Within Worlds, it is square. It's a like a hair tinier. Um, you can see that just a hair. I mean, <laughs> not much, just a teeny bit on this side. But um, I would assume if I open it a little bit more, it would um, you know, be bigger. It's a lot more than these, but the this book was a little smaller too. So, but they all fit really nice in your bookcase. <laughs> so there we go. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care everyone. <laughs> Bye now.